A commission rate pays a salesperson either a fixed percent of sales or a fixed amount per item sold. Commissions are designed to produce maximum output from the salesperson since pay is directly dependent upon sales. Here we have an example of a straight commission where the salesperson is paid a fixed percent of sales. They're stating that the real estate agent earns a 6.5% commission rate on all residential homes sold. And what that means is they will earn $6.50 for every $100 sold. And that per 100 is because of the 6.5%, which means per 100. Let's take a look at an example. They're asking us to compute the commission rate for a real estate agent who just sold a $142,500 value home. Her commission rate is 5.25%. To calculate gross earnings, we will take the commission rate times the amount of sales. Our base will be the home value times the commission rate as a decimal, which will give us the part or in this case, the commission. So this real estate agent will receive $7,481.25 for the sale of this home. In this next example, they're stating that a sporting goods store salesperson had sales of $14,500 one month with returns and allowances of $825. They're asking us to determine her gross earnings if she's paid a 20% commission. Before the commission is calculated, any returns from customers or any allowances, such as discounts, must be subtracted from the sales. So net sales would be the gross sales less the returns and or discounts of $825 for this problem, means the actual sales that this person is credited with is $13,675. Now we're ready to calculate the gross earnings or their commission by taking the net sales times the commission rate as a decimal to find a gross earnings of $2,735 for this month. The sliding scale or variable commission is a method of pay designed to retain top producing salesperson. Under such a plan, a higher rate of commission is paid as sales get larger and larger. And here we have an example. For the first $20,000 worth of sales, they're at a pay rate of 6% commission. The next $10,000, in other words, anything over 20,000 up to 30,000 is at 8% and anything over $30,000 will be at a 9% commission rate. So let's take a look at what a commission earned on a sales of 38400 will be given this variable commission rate. And we can use this sieve method. This is the total sales for this individual. They met the quota of 20000 The difference left over is 18400 And that is the next 10,000, 20 and 30,000 differ by 10. So 10,000 of this excess will be paid at the 8% commission rate and the amount beyond 30,000 is the 8,400. Remember the total sales was 38,400. This will be calculated at a 9% commission rate. So taking each of these sales at the different rates gives us the following commission adding the three commissions at the variable commission rate or sliding scale gives a gross earnings of two thousand seven hundred fifty six dollars with a salary plus a commission the salesperson is paid a fixed sum per pay period plus a commission on all sales this method of payment is commonly used by large retail stores. Gross earnings with salary plus commission are found using the following formula. So a fixed amount per period plus some commission amount. 
And let's take a look at an example. This salesperson is paid a salary of $290 a week for showing up for work, plus a 4% commission on all sales over $750. The expectation or quota is that at this salary of $290 a week, they would be responsible for $750 worth of sales. Above that is going to earn them the 4% commission. In this example, compute the employer's gross earnings for a week where his total sales were $1,870. So we know for the week the salary amount is $290. What we need to calculate though is the commission. The commission of 4% is paid on sales over 750. So we need to subtract off the quota amount to determine the commission or the amount of sales that the commission will be paid on. 1,120 is beyond the minimum expectation. We'll multiply that by 4% to calculate the commission. We now have the salary of 290 plus the commission for sales over 750 adds up to be a gross earnings of $334.80 for this salesperson. Let's look at another example of a salary plus a commission. And here they're showing us $15,000, there's no commission. That would be where the salary would be covering those types of sales. But should the individual sell over $15,000 up to twenty-five, dollars it's a 9 tenths percent commission. And anything over $25,000 is a 1.1%. So here's those values. And in this example, we have someone selling $36,300. Their salary would be covering the expectation of selling the $15,000 worth of sales. So there is no commission rate for the first $15,000. But the excess of that earnings is going to be paid at a commission rate. The first $10,000, and that $10,000 is coming from the difference between the minimum and the first commission rate incentive at 25. 25 minus 15 is 10000 We'll take 10,000 away from the 21,300 and that remaining balance will be at this highest commission rate of 1.1%. So no commission as mentioned at the $15,000 sales. That would be covered by the salaried amount, but the incentive of 9 tenths of a percent for any sale between 15 and $25,000 garners $90 and the excess beyond the $25,000 is at a commission rate of 1.1%. Adding those together, the commission for this salesperson beyond their salary, whatever that amount was, would be an added $214.30 to their gross earnings. So here they're showing us a gross earnings of $452 for the week and then adding the commission on would give us the gross earnings of $666.30.